thermal energy moves through materials. Materials that allow thermal energy or heat to move through them quickly and easily are called conductors. Materials that slow or stop the spread of thermal energy are known as insulators. To see this for yourself at home, you will need a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, a wooden spoon or a popsicle stick, three chocolate chips, a container to hold water, and boiling water. Please be very careful and get an adult to help you with the boiling water. I am pouring my water into the container, filling it about halfway. If you used a pot to boil the water in the stove, you could also just set the spoons in the pot. I'm going to place the spoons in. Notice that the ends of the spoons are still available for me to get out later. You will need to do the same thing. Now, let the spoons rest in the very hot water for about three minutes. Time's up. Since we were using boiling water, you might need to use an oven mitt to retrieve the spoons. Very carefully, and I say carefully because they are quite warm, arrange the spoons on a flat surface. You're going to place a chocolate chip on the end of the spoon, on the side that was not in the water. Observe carefully the chocolate chips. If the heat is able to travel from the bottom of the spoon up to the handle, it will reach the chocolate chip. If the heat reaches the chocolate chip, the chocolate chip will begin to melt. You can wait about a minute to see what happens to your chip. I notice that the bottom of the chip on the metal spoon looks shiny. Let's see what's going on there. Well, the thermal energy was able to travel through the metal spoon and reach the chocolate chip. That's because metal is an excellent conductor of thermal energy. Let's see the plastic spoon. The chocolate chip on the plastic spoon is not melted. The chocolate chip on the wooden popsicle stick is not well melted either. That is because plastic and wood are insulators. They do not allow thermal energy to travel freely. They slow or stop the heat.